Hey guys, welcome to Jerry's Facebook Live. As always, I am your host, Amy Gardner-Dean, and we're going to be doing light boxes, projectors, and drawing aids. All the things that Amy says not to use. <laughs> I mean, no, you can use it in researching this and looking at things, and then our special guest, Will Campbell, will be uh, premiering a, well, not premiere, I'm, well, I guess it's the first time we've showed it, so it's a premiere of us showing it. Um, a really awesome digital projector that basically can sing, dance, and I, maybe play games, I don't, I don't know, but all the things that you would need where you could use it as a tool besides as an aid. So, um, so we're just covering kind of all those things people always have questions about through customer service and emails and stuff that nobody seems to understand how and why they work. And actually, especially with some of these projectors, that people send back because they don't, can't figure out how to set them up. So um, my, my two friends here were, were returns and work perfectly fine that were supposedly defective. So um, so that's why we're showing them because, because they do work and they actually work really well. You just have to sometimes uh, actually try to figure them out. So, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, we are going to be doing, we, we had a really great critique the other night, this last Friday, there were four of us. And, it's uh, growing. It, well, we've had a few more actually before, but this is like a core group. Everybody has been coming, actually there were five, because one of the assistant managers pops in and out to join us too. But, um, but someone brought stuff that had gold leafing on it, so we yeah, got to cool. see how that went and how that worked. And uh, we talked about some alternative uh, kind of like choices for a background that they were trying to figure out and just we talked a lot about pop art because of something that Ray brought that was really awesome and kind of some suggestions for that and we talked about doing a series because I am insane and gonna try to paint a bunch of little paintings for next week's oil painting episode <laughs> like possibly 34 little paintings in a week. That's just gonna not be, yeah, oh yeah. You yeah. can do it, time Yeah, it. Katie, it was all fun and games. Katie and I are like, oh, we can do that. How many brands do we have? But then we're doing it in all the student grade, in the artist grade, in the yeah. professional grade, across all the brands. And then I totaled it up and was like, oh, what, what did I say we do that? Are we really gonna do that? We're gonna try to do that. So, so it was an interesting discussion, and they think I'm certifiably insane, which I think anybody that watches the show probably is going to be like, shut up. Right? Most of us that work for, for Jerry's are a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm just the poster child. Mike, Mikey and I, we're the, we're the poster children. We're the cha-cha. See? <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, so that was fun. Thanks, guys, for coming, and we encourage more people to try to come to that. We're going to move the museum meetup this Friday to Saturday. It's supposed to be a beautiful day and a high of 70 degrees in North Carolina and clear here. So the North Carolina Art Museum, we're gonna do the museum meetup at 1 p.m. and we will meet in the main lobby of the new building. I'm not sure if there's like a specific name for it. It's the new building. I, I'm sure it has a name, but everybody uh, but I, I know calls it the you, new building. You see, I don't know either. It's it's where the, where the I guess, the lobby in the gift store and the restaurant all are. So that would be the the place to go at one, and I think because it's 70 degrees and it's that sounds like nice and not park. sweaty. Yeah, sculpture yes. trail. Sculpture trail, so bring some comfortable shoes and we will wander around and get to see all that cool stuff. They've added a ton of new stuff um, and that would be really fun to go do. So if you are in the area or you know in North Carolina and wanna come up, that will be 1 p.m on Saturday, this Saturday, April 28th at the North Carolina Museum of Art, the Jerry's Museum meetup. So um, so that's kind of what we've got going on, what we got brewing, and uh, we, we, there's just a ton of drawing aids. The more I researched this, the more it was like, we don't have one version of some of this, we've got like eight. So um, so I guess we probably ought to get started. And, and beware, the, it's not your computer or phone playing with you. At some point, we probably will have the lights off because a few of these, you really do need it to be dark to um, to see kind of how they're projecting. But we will warn you ahead of time. So if it, if it's black, just you know, look look for the light at the end of the tunnel, which is a projected image of art. So um, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, everybody kind of knows. I say, learn to draw, learn to draw, learn to draw. However. 
there are times when it's really, it's, it's this, it's rattling. <laughs> okay, not to touch the table. It's, it's looming at me. And because it goes down, it just seems kind of menacing somewhat. Um, in an R2-D2-like way. <laughs> friendly robot. Yes, yes, and we should have put like a face on him. Um, you know, it's, if you're somebody who has short deadlines, you've got a lot of clients, or even you've got a full-time job, but you've got people maybe coming in and uh, talking to you about commissions and things like that, where it's, it's harder to, you know, sometimes a good drawing for a painting, you might struggle with it for a while if you're just trying to get it, you know, to that perfect point, even just trying to kind of get that image sized in the right spot on a canvas can sometimes be frustrating. So, um, so it's something where maybe having a light tablet would help for that. Maybe having a projector would help for that. Just as a tool, not as a crutch. Crutches are something that, you know, make up, make up for the walking. This is, this is, this is a tool. It's, it's, it's just helping you, you know, speed things along. So there's a time and a place for that. There's, there's some grid systems that we've got that help. Um, there's some different tools that can help make things larger or smaller that don't have to be electronic and, you know, more expensive that are very reasonable. So, so we'll cover all those, but just remember, not a substitute for learning to draw. <laughs> Will's, Will's, Will's like, I'm not shaming, I'm not looking at you to shame you. <laughs> it's just because he has a very cute hat and I can't wait till everybody sees it. That's more the, it's, it's, it's entertaining to me, so. Um, all right, well, so first what we're gonna look at are kind of while everybody's getting here with us are the light boxes. There are light boxes from very reasonable starter kind of beginner ones. Like, um, I'm glad you put the plug right there because I would have not thought about it. Um, this is just the very basic bare bones kind of really for like crafters or people doing scrapbooking. Um, one of the things that Artograph actually talks about is quilters, which that I guess makes sense after hearing that and my sister does quilting. Okay, so it's just a very basic light box. It's not, it, it's large like the old, if you have ever done, I used to work on the newspaper in high school and we did all of our layout on light boxes because all the layout was still done by hand with spray melt adhesive and all that. We had light boxes that were gigantically huge like this, a little more durable obviously than kind of this basic one, but this gives you kind of that, looking to see if it's it's just one temperature the whole the whole shebang. So this is just called the light tracer. It's a 10 by 12 illuminated surface. So it's small, but if you're just doing small projects, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's got an eight watt fluorescent bulb, a little tray up here if you wanna put, you know, pencils or things like that up there. It does have a five year warranty. So for just a basic light box, it's not that bad. You know, if you don't need to trace through anything more than Looks like I should be checking my x-rays on it. <laughs> it kind of does look like that, doesn't it? It, it actually, this is about, you know, yeah, the, ones, the vet hospital where you take your dog and they're, you know, I can't tell if your dog's leg is broken. You know, I mean, you can put, you can read through that. So, I mean, that's, that's yeah. lighting, just a, a typing sheet. It's not, it's not designed. This is some of these other ones you can see through, you know, 40 pound watercolor paper, yeah. even like 300 pound watercolor paper. So, so this is just a good basic light box. I think it runs about 50 bucks. So, I mean, you're not putting a lot of money into it, but you're getting something out of it that's practical and useful. So that's the light tracer. I'm like on a, I should be. But wait, there's more. These, but wait, there's more. Um, oh, and they do have a, a, an upgraded size for that. It's 12 by 18. So it's, and it's got a 15 watt bulb. So it's double bright, but considering it's like a double the surface, it's probably about the same brightness yeah. um, because it's not as, you know, as heavy duty of a, of a light pad. Um, now Artograph has their, um, LED light pad. I've kind of gotten the same size just to kind of keep all things in perspective. Um, this is one like what we've got. Um, actually like ours better though. Comes in just a little protective sleeve. 
It's like that, it looks like jewelry, like a jewelry sleeve. Is your it? first sleeve here? Yeah. What is a purse sleeve? So it's like a dust bag. It keeps, when you're storing it, it keeps it from getting dirty and nasty. Yeah, Will and I are looking at each other like, they come what, with no. like Expensive that doesn't work for backpacks, yeah. does it, Will? They come no. with expensive ones. You, you can tell. Yes, I don't do that. Uh, yeah. Mm. I'd rather buy old Holland Oil paints, thank you. Than have a thank fancy purse. Home. All right, so that is the Light Pad 930. Um, this is the 9x12 size. It's a 5 8 inch profile. Oh, that's bright. Too. It is real bright. Shine bright mm -hmm. Woo! Um, four sizes, six by nine, nine by 12, 12 by 17, 17 by 24. So, I mean, you just doubled the size on that. Um, it's a sturdy aluminum frame. Uh, the LED provides super bright, even illuminated surface. Bulbs in these last three or 30,000 hours on average, okay? Which kind of, what does that mean? That just sounds like this number somebody's plucked out of the sky. Think of it this way. If you use this bad boy four hours a day, it would be 20 years worth of use. That's 30,000 hours. So suddenly then that makes like, cause because it's like 30,000 hours, I'm gonna have to buy a new bulb. No, no. I mean, good, good for you if you're using it that much. You're a busy individual. Or it's a nightlight. <laughs> well, yeah, or just, you know, I don't know. So um, that's their version of it. Um, AC, DC power supply adapter, not to be confused with the band. Um, it's much quieter. Um, <laughs> the protective storage sleeve. Less airy. Artograph is, <laughs> yes, and seat looking. So, <laughs> um, Artograph is made in the U.S., so that is a, a plus. They have, it doesn't have anything other than like the little bump-ons, basically, like you use for framing for the bottom. That's kind of annoying, I don't really like that. They do these, these are called um, pad pucks. They're like little rubber. It reminds me of like you should be playing like air hockey. Yeah. Doesn't it? Um, but they've got texture so they can grip on a surface and it doesn't slide off of it. So you can do like that or you can even make it level with that just to bump it up or you can double them and do like that if you want it elevated. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it moves the fabric before it moves the thing off of the of off of a pad box so I mean it's it's durable it just seems kind of like okay whatever so um and it I think with this one it's either on or off there's no dimmer switch to it which is good for some things but I mean that's really bright if you don't need it that bright all the time it, it doesn't seem that bad but it's pretty uh, it'll get your retinas after a while so just something to consider kind of about that brand. So that's the Artograph LED light pad. I'm not gonna put that back in the box. Um, the accurate light tablet, if you want something even thinner profile, but that you could use with a cutting board, as a cutting board as well, like be able to cut stuff out on it, because this is tempered glass. You can actually use this without scratching it. Um, now, plug it in, this is gonna be, this is the one I have to always have to look away before I get it adjusted. This does come with a dimmer switch. You can take it off, you don't have to use the dimmer switch. You can just use the direct plug. Um, that's low, and then it can crank up to very high. That's already brighter than the other one. Um, and it does have non-skid feet at the back, but it has these. So you can have that at somewhat of an angle if you like, or if you don't want, then you don't have to have that there. But if that's bright, then you can dim it down. I mean, that's... That's bright. You can read that through it if you could read backwards. Can you hold it up a little? There you go. I mean, look. That's... This is like a grainy newsprint and it's showing right through it really easily. Um, when we had these, we'd test with it. You could go through most 140 pound watercolor paper with a drawing on thin printer paper underneath. Um, 
even with some of the sanded uh, pastel papers you could do that with too. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's only three millimeters thick. I'm gonna put the lights down so I don't bring anything up. Three millimeters thick, so that's super thin. Um, the color temperature range on it is within the 6,000 to 6,400 Kelvin range. So it's essentially color corrected, which is really unique that most light boxes um, and light pads don't do. Yeah. So that's really cool. That adjustable dimmer, the LED lighting system has the 30,000 hours on it, like the Artograph. So you've already got that built in 20 years worth of four hours a day. Um, it's not hot to the touch. It's never hot to the touch. We've had them on here in the studio just like for a whole day. And yeah, I've accidentally left some on. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and it just seems really weird because you come back and it should be, you know, the light boxes of old would burn something up. So, um, it's got a UL approved AC power adapter. The sizes are small, medium, and large. The small is the outer edge dimensions are 11 and 5 eighths by 15. Medium's 15 by 18 and 3 quarters. Large is 15 and 3 quarters by 23 and 5 eighths. Um, the um, large one doesn't have the little folding legs. It just has thicker anti-slip pads because it's, it's big and it really doesn't need to be cranked up. Um, and again, that glass top can be used as a cutting surface, which if you're doing special like scrapbooking or if you're doing journaling or things like that, where you want to be able to trace and trim and do things like that, you've got this and it's not going to damage that glass to it. So that's the accurate light tablet. Let me turn this down so somebody doesn't get a retina full. Yeah. Morning. When they play. <laughs> Amy, I'm pretty sure those are super on sale right now too. They're on uh, both of them are. Both of them are. And actually the one we're going to look at in just a minute, the thin line, I think is actually even lower yeah. than these, which is crazy. It's the anniversary sale, like the whole site's on sale. Yes, it's true. <laughs> it really is true. Yes. Is this our right. birthday? Yeah, well, and the big ones are like around a hundred dollars. Yeah, the say. I just pulled them up. The um large one is one pen right now. For the for that one. For the big big for one. the big the 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 flat the, glass one. I wanna say for this one the large was a hundred, I think, when I was doing notes today. Okay, so this the is seventy. 70? Shut line. up, really? Okay, so this so this is the one that's very nice. You know it's good when it surprises it's all of us. No. Yeah, we're, we're not very subtle. I, I really like this one. Um, I mean, this one isn't glass if you're cutting. This was not would not be your your box of choice. It's a little bit thicker. But we have those clear cutting mats that well, shines we do. through. Okay, that's, oh, good point. Okay, so this is a little thicker, but this has that super sturdy aluminum frame to it. Um, it has a, a much thicker, like a nylon bump on feet. You could use pad pucks if you want to elevate this. Um, the glass goes all the way to the edge on this, or the, excuse me, it's a optical quality acrylic. Um, now, it's a touch sensitive dimmer on these. The dimmer's not where you might lose it on your, you know, if you lose your cord. It's actually on the box itself. Um, Okay, I just need to remember not to look at it because the last time I did she this, so like, ah! right does. Okay, so this goes. That what? look at that bright. That is so bright, isn't it? Yes. I can see it reflecting back on the, <laughs> the camera. Well, and okay. it's funny. It changes on the All right. thing. It's coming through. It changes the light. Yes. Um, you can adjust it from ten percent to up to hundred percent. I know. I'll, I'll dim it down. Um, only 5.5 .5 watts of power. So you're using like next to nothing with these. With this one, up to 50,000 working hours. Yeah. So, and, and, and the largest one, okay, so the sizes in these, oh, I forgot to write the sizes down. How big is the big one? I know this is the nine by 12, I think. The big one's 12 by 17. Okay, so the big one's 12 by 17. And, and it's $70. 70 <laughs> That's crazy. So, so then $70 and all the retinal issues, if you, well, that's actually if you're not careful good with Good point it. with the dimmer too, yes. because sometimes you do need to turn it down because after a while, yes. it oh, gets yeah. just a well, And you think, oh, surely I'm gonna need the, the highest no. setting. No, 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 you don't. You're um, doing through Canvas, maybe. I'm gonna put maybe. this on before I turn it on. Hey, though, 
I did actually so look at that today that it's right. going to be a pro and a not pro, and that the pro is the only thing that's going to have the dimmer. Oh, okay. And those that say 70 don't say pro, so we okay. should probably follow up in a comment later. Okay. And investigate that. And see when they're going to be. And not be able to get to that. Okay. Well, I haven't seen this Q notice for that, so it's it's down the road piece still. Did I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> I'm used to my outside outside Missouri voice. <laughs> it usually stays inside from when I was a kid. That's not coming for a piece. So All right. For somebody to buy one and us not. Yes. Have what we thought it was. All right. So so that is the accurate thin line LED box light box that is the 9 by 12 that's a lot of light for that so um and it's got the what did you call this a, a purse bag a dust bag okay <laughs> all right so those are light boxes now on to the magical world of projectors um so we get a lot of projectors that come back. And I think there's there's two reasons for this. I don't have big, a table big enough to hold well, this Okay, on. The, literally the picture of this one on the website does not make it look like it's gonna be more than adult height once it's on a normal height table. I mean, if this was down at a desk, this would still be taller than me. Yeah. So, um, and it's heavy. Will and I both had to, not that it wasn't like, so much like ridiculously heavy was it will it was just horribly awkward, awkward. Yeah. so awkward i had to have will hold it up because this has to be bolted on from the bottom and i didn't want it flailing around and all that so the biggest issue with these is the way that they phrase how you put the lenses in and how you adjust them if you're not somebody that can take the written word and visualize it like let's say you know you're not good at putting together ikea furniture you probably need a friend that is to, if you want to buy these, to look at the directions and help explain to you how it's going to work. Fiddle with it some, just fiddling. We got we we got in what five four projectors, four projectors. Every all of them had been supposedly returned and they claimed they were defective. There was one that was, and it was a very small one, like about a fifty dollar projector that you would maybe use like in an elementary school just to trace stuff on walls or you know something like that very fundamental it wouldn't have been bright enough without all the lights off anywhere to use school or otherwise that one yes i think probably it had been damaged in shipping everything else works absolutely perfectly but i just needed to read the directions and say okay well let's try this because i think that's what they're saying and then it worked so so just, if, if you get something like this, any anytime you get anything like this that's got working parts, contact the manufacturer. If you're having problems and you're not sure because they have 1-800 numbers for customer service, contact us. Talk to somebody before you send it back because the chances are good. It's probably just fine. It's just whoever wrote the directions maybe wasn't real, you know, worked in a little cubicle and, didn't usually talk to people, didn't know how to explain things. I don't know. Um, so, so just, you know, to be aware of that. So what we're going to start with, we, we had that one basic one. It was so basic. There was no really any reason to go th through with it because in my opinion, it really wasn't even helpful for an artist. It was really, and it wasn't even really helpful for doing murals or for doing things like that. It, it just wasn't enough to give an artist the edge that these should if you're going to invest in those as tools. So kind of the first line of projectors that I think are really artist quality enough of where it's going to be a helpful tool to you and worth investing, you know, several hundred dollars in is something like the Artograph. Um, we're obviously not going to point this at Katie when we, <laughs> when we turn it on. I'm just... I've just got it here for right now. I should have worn my sunglasses yeah. for this one. This is the prism, and it has the super prism lens that comes with it. You can get them regular. I would really suggest you might as well get the super prism lens. The other lens um, is helpful for doing reduction. So, you know, it basically, if you get the super prism, it's just the regular one with the super prism lens that comes with it. Um, the super prism lens has this little, view data and the lens has the 
this for focusing <laughs> it's like the most mundane like low low you know caveman almost um, technology you just twist this and and it projects it and cleans up your image so we'll we'll turn that on and look at that now before before we I want you to show this up close before we turn it on I do not bring it on with us looking in this Okay, you've got. Oh, I've done that on a school projector yes, before. Don't your, do your that. Paper tray. The lenses on these is a uh, 230 millimeter um, three element color corrected precision ground lens for that super prism. Now this is where you have your image that you put flat. This holds it on, so you can kind of put it to the side or whatever. And then you've got bulbs in there. You've got one on each side, and they're big. They're uh, a 250 watt halogen bulb. Um, it's a 220 volt machine, so it's cranking it out. You've got this mirror in here. You have to take the plastic off the mirror, and that was some of the things that I think one of these that came back, they never took the blue plastic off. So they weren't getting an image because the mirror wasn't clear to bounce it. So, um, so you can see, you know, mirrors down, goes out through the projector. Um, and it does have a fan for that. But obviously, with two 250 watt bulbs, these get hot, so you want to use it, let it cool, use it, let it cool. It's got a fan. I'm using some of your um, lettering, thank you, oh, thank because you. it was here and I was like, oh hey, that works. That works. That's easy to see. Uh, that's the one that I think. Okay. All right. So we're going to turn this around and point this here. If you can turn off the light for a minute, I can. Yeah. Oh, over here. Oh. All right. Mm. You'll be able to see it in my head. Just... Oh, does it take a second? Well, it's going to be, and I've got to, it's got to be a little bit darker for people. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to. Sorry, guys. We'll be, ah! Here okay. You go. Now, all I'm doing is twisting this out. See how easy that is to see? I know, look at that. It's like Amanda's here. I mean, that's that's fantastic. I'm not gonna open this because it would blind you, but well, it's got the paper on it, so, right. So you could, you could change that and adjust it. So you can get that good of quality just with that super prism lens. All you're doing is twisting it slowly out to yeah. find where it fits. Now I'm gonna put a photo in it just so we can see what that looks like, because I haven't tried it with that. Um, you may want to. Close my eyes. Wee! For the. Woohoo! Good night. Okay. Oh, it's upside down. You look like you're opening the magic box. I know. All right, so. Prop it up. Look at muscle car. That's full color. It's got color behind it. Look. That's really detailed. Yeah, that's this is a good. basic a basic projector that's around the three hundred to three hundred and fifty dollar range. I mean that's just a basic projector. You could there is a table mount for this, so you could put it on a table mount and point it at a table. But obviously that if you're gonna be stationary and doing reduction is wise. Otherwise you can just have a cart and kind of move it around. You could use it as an easel, yeah. whatever. But I mean that's that's pretty quick crystal clear. I would be able to trace that. And get very fine detail. Plus, it's a really cool muscle car that I really like. Okay, well, you can turn like that. <laughs> okay. But you can hear the fans. I don't think that fan's overly loud or annoying, it, but it is there. But you, you want that as the, opposed to the alternative of it burning your image up. Yes. I have news on the Thin Pad. Oh. oh. Charlene was watching. All right, Charlene. She has all the info. She said nice. the ones that are on sale now have a dimmer, but it's in the cord. So it's not okay. a touch screen dimmer. Those, oh. are here. Those should be in stock around June. Okay. okay. So, so it's just like the original one. Okay, okay. So that's the new one that we, so we have them for photography purposes. And for when we shot videos of it, we just, those aren't. That explains why there were the two on the thing and the yes, thing and the. Yes, yes. So that one's, that one's actually the new product that we just showed. The dimmer is on the cord, which I, 
You know what? You I don't hate the cord. I, I would prefer that just yeah. because I break everything. So I would Well, and then it's think not up there like when you're me. drawing on the thing, you're not yes. going to accidentally tap it or. Yes. So, all right. Well, good. Thank you, Charlene. That was. Yeah. See, we got people on the stick, man. You got to just. Well, I'm not going to put that in there. I don't want to lose my. It's a roadrunner. <laughs> yes, do, would you mind? Willis. Willis, our charming assistant. Michael said, well, I didn't want a projector until now. Uh-huh. I Okay, so so I, besides for the comedic value, I really like this one. And I think it's going to have to stay. So, um, All right, so that was the Artograph Prism with the Super Prism lens. The, the capacity for putting that image on is 7x7. Seven seven. That's probably one of the big annoying drawbacks from that because it's small so you might need to reduce on a copy or something to that size to then work from um because it doesn't take like an eight and a half by eleven um it will enlarge Sorry. up to 20 times in size um and the accessory lens can do an 80 percent reduction this. so that's pretty good with the table stand you can only go three times like if you had it up like this three times enlarged so but you can get a full 20 times enlarged on that super prism that we had. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, for what it looks Now, like. it does say with those bulbs, a, a, about 20 hours of runtime. Because they're halogen. Halogen, they get blown through pretty quick. But it is photo quality lighting, so it would just be replacing those bulbs. Um, and it's a one-year warranty made in the U.S. That's actually pretty good for that. So, yeah. Um, all right. So that was the super prism. Um, from Artograph. Now we're going to look at the Copycake 300XK. When people, when people get these, they sometimes are very frustrated. Well, it's not, you know, it's, it does take some adjustment. You've got a monkey with, there's like a little spring clip on this for making it go up and down to adjust it. The brand's called Copycake, folks. The reason it's called that is because that's what they used before there were the photo things that you could scan into like the edible, what is it, like edible frosting or whatever. Um, well, no, how they could- paper. Yes, okay. Paper. okay. They didn't used to have that, so you couldn't do that. that. So people would put it, this cake making company that makes cake things came out with projectors. That's why they're called Copy Cake, with a K. Whatever works. Because it was for copying designs on yeah. a cake. So just keep that in mind. They're not the most high tech. They're just designed to basically be used as a table mount. They do make some other ones. And you can take this one off and actually use it um, to project against a wall. It just comes off of this clamp here. Uh, this one had the table clamp with it and the extension tube. Um, if you want to show this just so they can see how this works. You could actually mount this on a board if you wanted. It's got four holes in it, um, but this clamp actually comes over and then comes up under it, so it secures it actually really well. So, um, and I just have this up over around the outside. So, um, yes, and this is the regular. Well, I'm just, okay, so the lens one way is a reduction lens. The lens turned the other way enlarges, so, you just this was an extra lens from that other one I stole it out of the one that was totally ruined so that we would have an extra lens and I stole the little this is your little clip that actually fits on here you have to every time you need to adjust that you do have to take the clip off and put it back on so it is somewhat annoying um, with that but for the price of the projector and what you get out of it I mean it's just gonna be kind of a wash um, the artwork with this can go up to a six by six. Again, we've got some Amanda's. It was here, okay. and it's but it's cool, and that's you know, well, it's fine, very fine calligraphy. So, and that's something that you know, I would cheat with that because I'm not going to handle it. Right. <laughs> if there's not an Amanda, you need a projector. Right. Um, this has one 250 watt bulb. So, like that other one had the two. It just has one, but the way that the mirror and stuff is, you don't need the two that other thing is such a monster you, you need it and it does 20 times large um, it has a whisper quiet fan steel cabinet construction even this is steel um, this will enlarge an image up to 300 percent 
it will reduce it vertically to 70% on the base. Um, project onto walls uh, 25 times. So, I mean, you could use it for murals and stuff like that if you needed to. But it's specifically kind of just designed in mind with bakeries, crafters, hobby artists, stuff like that. Uh, it's 20 pounds with the whole kit and caboodle. Um, you can get it with a base that it can actually go on, but keep in mind, although that does make it portable with a stand, it's kind of annoying for if you've got something large to work with. And, and having it on this has your image right there, so that's kind of, kind of make it so you can't go up any higher, so that can be a problem. So, but I mean, it's good if you, if you want to project it down, you can take it off and stand the, you know, your paper or whatever up. Um, let's just go ahead and light this one up. It's over here. It's all where I can't see. Okay. All right. Even with the light on, look, that's, you can see it. And that's without I can take it. I guess the job done. There, slightly. Slightly um, tighter. But yeah, I mean, that's. Where did I put my pencil? Make sure the light's up here. You can see it all right. Uh, yeah, well, just give it a quick shot. But I mean, look. It does too. I think that's. I think we're all right. And the other one's pretty bright. I mean, so I can poorly trace her. <laughs> it's really sad. I can't trace you're where the. You're a pro. I, I don't trace the. I was the, just saying the same thing. I was like, he, even tracing it, it would not turn out as nice as. Yep. See? It looks fine from here. So, I mean, that's. It would it would make just a quick layout drawing on. Yeah, I mean, you could trace it, use it, canvas, paper, whatever. I mean, and this pad is is very large so we've got a not even sure what the pad size is on this a 14 by 17 so I mean that's that you know gives you a pretty good indication of you can get a decent size thing even with this little stand so that is the copy cake 300 XK, XK. yeah I feel like for cake XK it's for extra cake and now I'm hungry. who doesn't want extra cake <laughs> and now I'm hungry <laughs> Somebody's gonna call up and be like, I don't know what the name of it was. It was on Facebook Live and it had something to do with extra cake. <laughs> Yo, that was Amy. She's talking about cake again. All right, so now <laughs> this one that looks like an extra in in a Lucasfilms movie, like there should be lightsabers and things fighting going on around it, is the copy cake Cobra with a K. It's a kinder, gentler snake. Yes, it is the K5000 projector. With this, you can actually do artworks up to 8.5 by 11. I'm gonna bring this down so you can see the. This has two 300 watt bulbs in it, Katie. I'm gonna let you come over and look in the inside before. I'm not turning it on before then. No, it's it's okay. It's okay. So you can take your image out like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a cobra with the copy case. Uh, no, come look, so, you, so they can see what I'm talking about with this, um, with this image and how it projects. Okay, it projects right on that mirror in there. You can see the bulbs on the side. It's a little dark, and then this is your lens right here. Okay, and then the fans up top. So what that's going to do is project it down below, and it's very bright with two 300 foot. Uh, photo, photo lamp bulbs. Um, the lens is a three element precision lens. You can do up to 300% enlargement on the tabletop. That's pretty large. And you can do a reduction to 50%. So, um, and we'll show you kind of how it works. There's steps, there's two steps in this that you can put your image. So it helps for making it larger or smaller. We're monkeying with it, so I'm just gonna use the step that I know we've used. Um, and to focus it, I think this was the part of the problem, besides that this was probably some little old lady from Pasadena that couldn't put this thing together and actually physically lift it up here to put it on the desk yeah. and then clamp it down. It's a piece of equipment. It's, it's yes. And, and the gas arm doesn't look, it's like a gas shock. It didn't look like it was going to work until it was all assembled. Then the weight of it 
oh. makes the shot go up and down. So that could have been why they thought it was defective too. Um, Cause it's 34 pounds total weight. All right, so let's, uh, but it has a five year manufacturer warranty. Oh, sweet. And it, I, it echoes when you stand <laughs> down here. Hello, hello. All right, uh, yes, yeah, so let's let's show what this one can do. This is, uh, oh, I should have tried the photo with that. It's okay, we'll try a regular photo with this too. Just, because it's easy, black and white's really easy with it. Yeah. Sometimes the photo is what people like really need to see for the proof. Okay. <laughs> well, should we turn the lights off for this one? I don't know if we need to. Let's let's find out. All right. All right. So, I'm just good. This is how I'm focusing it because it's easy to. Okay. So see, look, you don't need the lights on. See our little snake there that we looked at? Mm -hmm. Okay, now if I want to make him larger or smaller, I can also do this and push that image towards the, towards the mirror. Oh! Okay, watch. Without me having to move the thing, see? If I, like, okay, so I want that bigger. Do this. Then I push that towards the mirror again. It seems like it shouldn't make sense, but if you mess with it a few times, you're like, oh, okay. And then you can clamp this down. It's got a clamp over here. So then it's not gonna go anywhere while you're doing that image. So, I mean, that's, I mean, you can read the copy. And that's with the lights completely on. In the studio, which is bright, bright LEDs, like tons of them. So just that you can see it that well is pretty awesome. So now I wanna put a photo in it just to see. Amy, will you show how, how you that? move huh? that hole? Yeah. Yep. I missed it when you did it first time. Okay. Ooh, bright. So, yes. But, okay, so then look. I can go down and see. That's making it smaller. The further I get it away from that camera, the smaller it's made. And then I just have to do that to focus it. Cool. And it is, yes, very bright. All right, I, I'm gonna try, a, um, you might wanna take the camera not there. For a minute. Let's turn this off for a second and keep it down where it's easy for short me to reach. Um, I'm just curious what a color, what color photos will go in it. All right. I mean, you can't decide between a 69 Chevelle and a 90 or excuse me, 71 Barracuda. You can just put them both. Okay. Now see, for a photo, you might need to do Can you turn off the light, Will? I think just with the color, it's harder to... Okay, hold on. Okay, that's bigger. All right, this is what we had to do last time to... I don't know. Is it because that thing is, like the pig thing isn't stuck down in the middle? You know, that might be the Oh yeah, no, because they're curled from the Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be just a solid one piece image, hold on. Stay here. Uh, let's see if this will fit across it. I just grabbed a couple things just to see. Do that with the calendar. Good catch, Katie. Let's see, have your friends help you get it. Oh, see, look, there's colored puppies. See? Yeah. And that's what not all the lights turn off, so you can get a pretty good image with that. All right. And you could make really awesome. 
robot sounds with it. I'm going to take that out of there so in case it's warm, we don't taste uh, the cattle. Amy, can you talk about adjusting the size and focus on that one again? It you push it in. You push it in to make it larger, pull it back to make it smaller, and then you use this to focus. You can kind of you can kind of pick, okay, I want that size, and then kind of adjust it this way, or push it up and down to determine the size that you want, and then focus it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. it, it's one of those things where it works. It just takes a little bit of fiddling with it, and it's, um, and help with a tall person if you have it, which I'm not. So, all right. So that was the cover with the K copy K 5000 K 5000. Um, so those are the projectors until Will, is, Will, what, what is your official title? Official, official, don't, he's like, My actual title? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, production manager for okay. next year. Okay, so, so this is why we bring in the techie people. I thought you made him a new title for this yeah. episode specifically. Okay. I, well, I was, Sometimes the inner voice needs to be silenced because I was going to be a smart aleck and decided, no, we're not. Because he had the cowboy hat on and I was going to ask him to like, tear away Patty chaps or something. Patty were included with that one for the robot noises. Yes, that's, of course, why not? No, it was because it was in the return stacks that I climbed through at the warehouse. They said, not enough robot noises. No, and the box was the size of, like, a, a, a VW Beetle. That we brought back was that not a? It was pretty. It was like a mini. Like you were changing the height on a basketball goal. It did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> all right. So Will is going to show us the Artograph Impression 1400 Digital LED Art Projector. And I am the exception to rule that Amy talked about. I am not a professional <laughs> artist by <laughs> any means. Is this cutting you off? It's so, you're so oh. tall that you're like. Oh. Uh, okay, we'll just need to work. Yeah, that's fine. That. Um, so when I do art, uh, it's more of a hobby for me, but I like to do more abstract work. But every now and then I like to dabble in, in you know, something a little more refined, a little more sophisticated. But I need the aid of a Tracy uh, projector. Um, let me show you just an example, something that I've done recently. I grew up with Calvin and Hobbes. It was always my favorite comic. So this is something that I wanted to do, but could never do on my own. I'm not, I don't have the time or patience, I think, to learn how to draw uh, at, at this level. So the, being able to just trace the outline and then go in and paint it myself was really um, enjoyable and satisfactory for me. So mm -hmm. for me being able to create this, I'm you know, beyond impressed. <laughs> but that was through the use of actually one of these Artograph digital projectors. Um, what's really neat is these come with uh, USB drives. Uh, I think they're two or four gigs, so you can fit yeah, enough. Yeah, it's two gig, yeah. Yeah, you can fit plenty of stuff on there. And on the side of these, they actually have components for almost anything, HDMI, oh, really? uh, yeah, yeah, RGBs. Show, yeah, yeah, because it's... RGBs for old computer monitors, you have, you know, your components, uh, if you have like an older TV, uh, even a digital uh, audio output, so if you actually wanted to hook it up to some nice speakers, if you wanted to, this is a digital projector that plays videos mm -hmm. and pictures, so anything, uh, movies, um, and you have headphone jacks as well, yeah. yeah, and a specific HDMI that will convert for mobile, I didn't, I didn't play around with that, um, but you can essentially hook up your phone to project images that you've taken yourself onto your service. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a couple of the options with the USB plugged in. I've got that plugged in here and I loaded up a few things earlier. Um, all comes with a fancy remote right here. too. I'll, yeah. I'm going to let you stand over here so sure. under that. I am under this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with this one, uh, since we don't have it mounted on something, you, you make the image bigger or smaller by actually moving it physically closer or further away from your surface. And there's the, the actual ring up here along the lens is how you focus. And this 1400 model has a slight zoom, very slight, but as, if you're further back, it'll make more of a difference. Uh, but I don't believe the other models have that. Um, so once we bring up, the, the surface is pretty self-explanatory, uh, at least for me, you know, maybe the, being the tech guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, it's pretty easy to navigate, and I believe all the... Um, Look, I could set those things up when we used an AOC, so... Yes, yeah, it, it's not it's not too complicated. You can do it. And a lot of it's plug in and play. I plugged this in and it said, hey, you plugged in a USB, do you want to use it? And I have to tell them real quick, it's kind of pulling the rainbow across it on the screen. Yeah. It's just because huh. we're trying to 
record a projection school. Okay, okay. It's, okay. Between, no, it's like good. when you put two speakers next to each other. Yes. 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 The yes. two. Yes. Uh, and one thing I found, just a habit, I will point at the screen. That doesn't work. You have to point the remote at the projector. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> Right. Uh, this is just some of the files that were that were already on there, but I put in a, a, some of my own that's called, you know, Trace Me, and this is where I got, you know, the Calvin and Hobbes images, so I would project this up and tape my, my surf, uh, watercolor paper up there or whatever and, and trace away. Um, but as I was going through it, I realized there are many other options you can use for this beyond tracing. Uh, for example, if you wanted to take this projector to showcase your portfolio, you can keep all your digitized artwork on here and create a okay, slideshow yeah. of your work. Now, I don't have much artwork of myself to show off, but uh, I do dabble in photography. What is that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I have my, some photos of my trip on here. Uh, I just came back from Hawaii, so if I wanted to show off oh, you know, wow. a slideshow uh, of some of my works, or, uh, you know, if I digitized any of my artwork, you know, you can create, oh, well, create an actual slideshow by going down here to some options. So then it'll cycle through, and you know, if you have all yours, you can just set it up to play and showcase all of your work. That would be nice in a booth be. because you could have a screen and not have mm -hmm. everything in your booth, and actually just yeah. be, have it on a cycle to. Yeah, and if you had, you know, if you had made it into a, a movie file or something, you could have music that would be playing through here too. There's a small speaker, nice. I believe, or you can set it up to some something fancier. Uh, there's an HDMI cable or I'll, I'll put uh, right here and it comes with the cable You can plug this straight into your laptop or computer and project whatever's on your laptop onto here So you don't even need to load up images onto the jump drive or onto the thumb drive You can just plug it right in and it works right away and automatically came up here for me. So that was pretty easy um, I believe that the two smaller digital projectors uh, This is the 1400 which is 1400 mm -hmm. lumens. So that's how, how bright the projection is uh, there's also the Inspire 1000 and the Flare 150, uh, which is obviously not as bright, but it comes with the benefit of being battery powered oh. and it's much smaller. So if you're on the go or just need it for a few hours, it literally will fit in your purse. It's yeah, like in my little purse. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's so cute. Uh, and it's great for, you know, if you don't have power outlets or want to carry the cables or things with you, and you get uh, a decent amount of, of battery life with that as well. Mm. That's good. Yeah, and in fact, we used all of these at AOC this past year to help with the uh, instructions and in classes. So we had some cameras set up, um, you know, specifically with watercolors that worked amazing because the teachers need to have uh, their watercolor samples, everything laid down flat. So the camera would aim down at, at what they were doing and then project onto the screen so everybody could follow along. Oh, nice. Yeah, so That's it's awesome. a digitized version of just those big slanted mirrors. Yeah, well, and the great thing is it says you can uh, project a sharp image of 25 to 100 inches. Yes, that's eight and a half feet. Yes, yeah. that's so, impressive. Yes. So you could really do like a serious demo with that mm. for people, you know, even in we a class. We had them in the ballrooms at AOC yeah. and they projected onto the back wall of the ballrooms where people, mm -hmm. with what, 40 people in the class, everybody could see perfectly. That's awesome. And there's a bunch of other little features in, in here that you'll find <laughs> as, as you can play with it. Uh, for example, they have 24 different types of grids, you know, starting from oh, the nice. rule of thirds. I don't know how well those are coming up. Oh, um, you can see it. Yeah, different size blocks, different angles. Uh, they have shapes and patterns on here. You can circles and stars and everything. They have in black, white, or gray, you know, with it, whichever might show up easier. Uh, and those are, you know, easy to go through and cycle through and find out whatever. They get nice for like a mural if you're trying to paint a mural or something yes. like that. Right. Yeah. And they have an energy saving mode if you're feeling especially environmentally friendly, which really just dims the screen a little <laughs> yeah. bit. But you know, it's just one of those little features that you get. Um, so you can find out what, what works for you and for your studio. Well, if you were doing it in the dark, you definitely wouldn't need it that bright. That's exactly, incredibly bright yeah. with the, all the lights on in here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was impressed with this. Just do you want me to turn the light off so you can see? Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, that's like, it's a few more it's like super clear. Yeah, they have grids that go through planes. <laughs> random stuff, but I'm sure everyone can find a use for one of these. Yeah, the rule of thirds would be great, just yeah. for if, if, especially if you wanted well, to project an image too, for people to trace in a class. Mm -hmm. They could do this landscape, they could have their, you know, canvas yes. or whatever gridded off and use that to help. And while I am not 
skilled in the art of fine drawing, I have been able to use grids like this and kind of break it down. I'm sure even someone like me can, can draw. If I'm just focusing on one little grid at a time, mm -hmm. I think I can manage that. So this is a tremendous aid to help, not just with drawing, but showcasing your work. Um, walking movies on it, if you want to take a break, you know, from your artwork, you can keep music on here. Um, pretty much everything. Family photos, trips. Family photos, all yeah. All sorts of stuff like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, and for a photographer like you that does show the work, because he yeah. pretends he's not an artist, but he's well, a photographer. Yes. So. You count photography as, as art, yes. which, you know, some people do, some don't, but I, I do. I, that's, that's yes, my artwork. sorry it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, awesome. Um, yeah, other features like sleep modes, um, just go back to a blank canvas pretty easy. If you just need some light, uh, we'll refresh your eyes. Um, comes with a storage bag, uh, all the cables and things that you'll need uh, for, for plugging into HDMI if you need a component. Um, uh, there is a Bluetooth and wire, wireless connectivity options within there. I do not play with those personally, but uh, you know, imagine instead of having to plug in your phone, if you set it up through the Bluetooth, you could just oh, yeah. send it wirelessly, so it's even easier. Um, and it also comes with, it's kind of neat, a digital card reader for your camera. So you don't even have to use any of it. Just plug it straight in, your memory card straight in, and you can read it from there. So they just make it as easy as possible for you. Well, and I think their quick start guide's actually pretty mm -hmm. good, too. Yeah. Because to, it seems like a lot. And to me, it would be like, yay, features. Oh, no, overwhelming. Yes. Yes. Run away. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Amanda's got a How do you question. I know if you can dent that one so she can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> We use it at AOC, sorry, it's pretty yeah. dented. But, but, but just so you know, it wasn't for Patty, it was for Tina that, he, that I asked him to wear the cowboy hat. They are all for Tina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and, and I did mention that you have to move this physically closer or, or further away to adjust this, the size of the image. Um, if you look at this on the Jerry's website, it'll come with some options for tripods. That is the easiest way yeah. to mount this, to make it taller, shorter, closer, further away. Uh, you can even get something on wheels if you want to, to move it around a little easier throughout your studio. But um, I, I, autograph projectors, are uh, these digital ones, are a lot of fun to play with. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. Besides yes. the flipping things <laughs> on and off the, the screen for, for doing that, because I would have been like, it does things, and <laughs> next. It's digital. Yep. There's buttons. Or would it just return it because they didn't know how to work it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, see, the other ones I was, would have been, yeah, that would have been taken me. That's, that's to me, is like setting up a website. Yeah, and even though this is the larger size, I mean, compared to either of these. Oh, yeah. And this is tiny. What? And the, this and won't the, go in your pocket? Well, well it could. Well, you got big pockets. Uh, but the 150, the Flare 150, is about a, a third the it's, size of this. It fits in your purse. With, the, that with that dust cover on? <laughs> no. No, no. Mm -hmm. Only the Flare 150, mm -hmm. I believe, is the battery powered one. The ones, uh, anything higher than that, the yeah. lumens are too high to be battery powered. Uh, they just drain them like. Yes. All right. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. You are very welcome. All right. So now we're going from that being really exciting to the stuff that's not as exciting. <laughs> that's what we need to do for the exciting yes. stuff, Will. And the discount art supply. That's right. That's right. All right. Oh, we do need the, the, okay. So the next thing we're going to talk about is something that we get back all the time because people think it's a projector and it's not. Right, Amanda? Yeah. I'm so glad we're talking about yeah, this. Yeah. Okay. We got to talk about this. Uh, we have two different products. One is called the Artist's Magic Window. Right there is not saying that you can plug it in. That's a projector. And uh, something called the Lucid Art Drawing Tool. It's got a flexible neck to it. It's also known as the camera Lucida. Uh, other way. Other way. Yeah, because those are the, the eye things. Just Which is designed after Da Vinci's camera obscura. Because it says camera does not mean that this is videoing anything. It doesn't mean there's lights. You're not... <laughs> <laughs> You're like crawling along. So I'm just getting floor. over the cord down here. I didn't want to break anything. No. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to come over there to... No, things. it just, it came creeping across the screen like a little <laughs> snake. <just> <laughs> 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 well, it, it sneaks up on you. Because because for the price, you expect it to be something. I mean, it's a really, they're, they're very cool tools, and they do help. But it's not what most people think that it is that they're, um, that they're buying, okay? Um, Camera Obscura, that was used by Da Vinci, Van Eyck, Caravaggio, 
so obviously there wasn't electricity involved then. Hopefully you know your history well enough to know that. Um, it is not a projector. It draws accurately through the aid of carefully aligned mirrors. Okay, so right there, no power. Also, even though it shows it projecting on the picture, well, I think project. I think what they're trying to do is show you how you would see it through it, which they shouldn't because that doesn't make sense. Um, the arms adjust so you can make it higher, lower. Uh, you could put them on easels if you wanted. Um, there's no electricity needed and they are portable um, and they're lightweight. The Lucida, which is this one with like the snake arm, it's 1.8 pounds. Um, this one's probably slightly more because it's got a little bit heavier duty. Um, every, all the components are metal on this one, the Artist Magic window. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if there's a way to show it actually. Um, we'll put the hand over here. I guess I need a pencil. All right, there's the hand. He's waving. Hi, this isn't a projector. <laughs> um, it's a very uncomfortable looking thumb there. He's, ah, mm -hmm. It's my hand. Yeah. Recently. Okay, so what I would do would be... Um, oh, yeah, I can just pull that over. Okay, I'm looking through this. I have to look through the viewfinder. I see the hand. Then I would have my drawing paper under here. So... Although I'm looking at it through a mirror, I can see like a ghost image of my hand, but I can still see that hand and I can see my paper. So I could actually trace the edge of the hand. It's just meeting back up with, I'm so bad at. Okay, can everybody see? Can you see that I'm doing the tracing? Katie. Kind of. It's kind of hard to. Hard to get on. Okay. So it's right, it's it's over there. It's almost like a ghost image on here. It's not like a really defined image. And then I'm also seeing the light of my paper because it's mirrors that are bouncing that up. And then I can see this kind of ghosted image reflection of my hand as well. So what I'm gonna have you do is look through there. I'm gonna keep my hand there but you're gonna have to put it right up to that viewfinder probably, just so they can see. It's not super high tech. Can you see through it? I need to get. I don't know if it's gonna move the image. Can I see it? Can you see there? It may be difficult with the, okay. Well. Oh, move your hand. Yeah. I can see okay, it. You can see the hand here. Yes. Okay, I can't see, so I'm just gesturing where I'm guessing it. where I'm guessing it's at. So you can see that this is not a hard line. It's not like a projector. It's not a super hard line thing. Whoa. And just and just like when you're trying to cut your own hair in a mirror, where you're trying to figure out that the backwards thing as you're doing it because you're seeing the reverse mirrored image, right? This takes a little bit of practice. Yes. Um, this one obviously is much more flexible, so you can move it all around at different angles. I can have it low, I can have it high, it can be on an easel. This one is a little less flexible because it's just got the three joints. Let's see how this one does. Um, neither one is really, to me, any easier to see. Now it's moved. Okay. It's not really any easier to see. Because see, the thing is, you're not when you draw. You, oh, yeah. When you draw, you're looking at your hand normally, right? Yeah. It's it's your you're just trying to match it up there. Yeah. So it's it's very different. So it does take a little bit of practice. It's like trying to draw one of those tablet things on the computer like in Photoshop when you're using yes. a pen to do it and you're looking yes. there and not your hand. It is. Or like watching me try to play Xbox with my children. It's about that effective <laughs> as the camera Lucida. So that's um, so that's something that you need to take into consideration. A little bit of practice and you can do really it's like jump, jump, jump. Um, a little bit of practice and you can do really well with it. Am I forgetting to mention something? No. Okay. But again, it takes practice. So you just need to be aware 
Those aren't projectors. You're using your own little eye and your eye does have to be up against that viewfinder. So if you don't like things touching your face <laughs> or you wear like a lot of eye makeup when you work, it's probably not going to be very it's like helpful. I think the DMV that goes in your yeah. eye. Uh, yes. So, although they're very lightweight, now the, the one with the snake arm to it, it's drop shipped from the manufacturer, so it's going to be at least two weeks for delivery on those. So, people need to be aware of that because people will order them. Even though it says it on the page, they get very upset because they like want it now. And it takes at least two weeks. The other one we usually keep in stock on our own. So, easy to put up, obviously. When they're not in use, you can pack them away in your studio. But it gives you another tool for drawing that um, you didn't have before. Now, even even weirder and you know what I we've had these forever and I've seen them for forever I did not understand what they did these are uh, pantograph we sell the Alvin and company pantograph it's like part of a kid gate and that what it looks like it's like that's never gonna keep my dog in there they're just gonna put their head right through it it's like I'm about to pinch your fingers yeah, well, this goes on the table, right? That would brace on the table. This has a little thing you trace with this piece. Once that's braced on, this is actually doing your drawing on another piece. Oh. You can either make an actual copy of it. See how that moves as you go? So if I had this and I was going to trace the word that we wrote, I mean, obviously I wouldn't be doing it on this big sketchbook but you could use that just to, to trace it. You just go very slowly around it. That draws another one just like that. Wikipedia is the man or woman that knows everything. But this was the diagram they had and it was like, as soon as I saw it, like described it and I was like, what does that mean? <gasps> Look, there's a picture. <laughs> totally, artists. totally made sense. But you can, okay, so you can move these in different steps with the directions and it gives you how to make it larger or smaller. So you could make an enlargement with this by tracing something at this size, make it larger up to, uh, ba -ba -ba. oops, that's not the page, they're all sticking together now. I guess it doesn't give the, how much, oh, uh, 25 ratios it says so you can go larger or smaller by 25 different ratios um, so it's it's another way to make a copy it's not rocket science it's very basic and you've got to move these little pins all around this has little tiny leads in it that came with it that you put in this thing it's like a little uh, mechanical pencil Cute. yeah so it's got that and it's got all the equipment for it and it's actually made out of like a sturdy plastic so an inexpensive form of um you know another version of a drawing aid i'm gonna put that on there so nobody stabs themselves with it because it's the first thing i did when i took it out of the box because <laughs> we know how i do this yes yeah. so that is a, a pantograph now the the, the the real definition is one that still doesn't make any sense a mechanical linkage connected in a manner based on parallelograms so that the movement of one pen in a tracing image produces identical movements in a second pen, which to me sounds like a four letter word called math. Yeah. It makes me say, run away. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, but I mean, but it, once, once you get it set up and once you get it figured out, obviously that was kind of cool. So, so that is what a pantograph is developed in 1603. So it's been around a while and it was used in just making, you know, your typical, obviously they didn't have photocopiers, making physical copies of maps and things like that. Okay. Um, the proportional dividers, these things are, are, are interesting. They, they work. There is a way of doing it, which is, I'm gonna put this lens over here because I keep bumping <laughs> it and I just see bad things happening to it. Um, we've got two different ones. We've got the deluxe aluminum proportional divider. It's got a fancy little case. It looks very high tech and dangerous because it's got aluminum points on it. Um, and then Prospect makes 
just an inexpensive plastic version of the same thing. Um, Prospect says you can enlarge up to three times, you can reduce up to a third of an inch in size. Man, that still looks pretty dangerous. Just put the sharp things away from Amy. Um, plastic, but black brass plated hardware on, hardware on this. Increase, decrease, or measure the size of a subject. If you have ever done any sculpting, same thing as calipers, you know, the big thing that's got the nut, you go up to, if you were the portrait model, Will, you go up and you measure, you know, maybe your head from top to bottom, go back over your sculpture, you can make notes, you know, where to, you know, do that. Same kind of concept, only you can hold it further away and be like, okay, so in my drawing, Katie's head is this wide. She's, I can't get the face with the proportionate divider though. And then on my drawing, okay, so eyeballing it at about the same, okay that wide so I've already I'm not going this way but but that's that's gonna be my you know but if you've ever seen people hold a pencil mm -hmm. and they're doing this and they're moving their thumb back and forth this is the freebie way to do it because you've already got your pencil and then you're like okay so Katie is this many heads high one two three four right you can do that with this but it's much easier to see around and you're not using your thumb and then moving your thumb and forgetting because you can lock it down with those nuts on them. That's always like when I'm trying right. to measure something, I go like this, and by yes. the time I get down there, it's like, it's that thing. Yes. Or if you've got um, an existing drawing and you want to make it like maybe a picture of somebody and you want to make it larger, I can, you know, okay, so their eye is, you know, this big in this picture, but I want it to be this big because I'm making the drawing that much larger, lock it in already got what the eye is, I know to come over to my drawing physically, touch it on the thing, and I can put my hash marks, and then I know that's the size that that eye needs to be. So I can actually measure the features that way and move them to the drawing. So it's a handy tool. This gets a little old, and if somebody hasn't shown you how to do it right, you get it wrong all the time. Or if it's just, it's hard for you to remember, kind of. Just me to like. Yes. But that's what that is if you've seen people do that. Looks somewhat more like James Bond with this kind of a tool. Yeah. So that's what the proportional dividers are. Um, just a little sliding scale. It does have marks and stuff if you want them to be super technical on this one. Maybe if you're drawing just for measurements that somebody sends you. I think that's good for like Or you need to defend yourself in the studio. Yes. Extreme that's, painter painting. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bird attack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I you know, that's... like, architectural things, mm -hmm. like, trying to, and perspective. Yes, and, and that's what, and, and in Googling it, just to kind of see who uses it, that's mainly what a lot of people do. But that you can use it for, you know, for doing figure drawing or things like that, as opposed to this, is, is kind of neat. And, Looks like chopsticks. I mean, you could use it for sculpture on something small. As well, this would wipe off easy. Looks like you're about to eat some lean. Right, that's not a. It's not very easy to. Man, you better not. Okay. John Pike perspective machine. Yet another thing, Amanda. That sounds like it's gonna have bells and whistles and whir and clink and all that. It's like a machine in the Da Vinci It's sense. not a machine. It comes in this little pouch. When you take it out, it is this, <laughs> not a machine. It says the wonderful perspective machine though, so you might be confused and think it is. It's basically just got your grid system. I don't know if you want to. You can see. Okay. So you can grid out your composition that you want to use. It's got magnets that you can slap to the side. So if you want to do the rule of thirds and you have just this with you, you can slap those on so you've got that third so you know to only look through that section. So you can actually move it around. Oh, machine. You could make your own sound effects and make it seem more like a real machine. You're the machine. Beep, beep, bop, beep. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and you can move them anywhere. They're just like little steel things and it's got a magnet on it. But it's handy if you're out doing landscape painting, um, 
just somewhere on the fly, you're trying to grid something out, you can grid it on your canvas or whatever. You've got this, uh, these I would think, I mean, you've got a carrying case, so it's not like you're gonna lose them. So you, you've got a way to secure it. So it's just another person's kind of version, a painter's version of um, basically like an artist's window. Um, and that is just a five by six, so it's small and it can kind of fit in wherever. Uh, da Vinci makes an artist viewfinder and there is a view catcher because those don't sound anything. I've got a viewfinder, but can you catch that view? Nope. Gotta catch and, them man, they're serious about you're just going to catch the view. You're not going to get to keep it. <laughs> well, will you use your... Oh, it's plastic. Hands. Yes, we need to get man hands for that. All right, the Da Vinci viewfinder, broken into eights, just a little perfect window. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> that you can take, keep, easy to find, easy to grid, you know, use it for landscapes. You could even use it like if you were going to go do figure drawing or something. Will standing over there, you can't see him, but <laughs> okay, winking's not helping. Will no, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean that would that would make it easier for me to if I was going to draw head and shoulders. That's already got it right up the middle. <laughs> He's tipping his hat. He's doing like I do, making faces behind the camera that nobody. Sees. I'm going to tattle Don Will's wife. Uh, she, she's, she's watching. Silly. She is watching. I know. He's very helpful. We like him very much. Okay, this is very sticky. Okay. Whoa, and the directions got stuck on it. Get forward. They didn't want it to go anywhere. Okay, so the view catcher is three by five by three by five. It's got the window where you can make it any size that you want. It's the gray so it's easier to see colors especially if you're out in landscape um, because there's different versions of this you've got set spots where you can set it at this is what your 11 by 14 would be so oh, cool. I know whether I'm gonna do it that way you know horizontally whether I'm gonna do it vertically that's gonna be my 11 by 14 it also has 8 by 12 and 9 by 12 on there so that helps you actually be able to get the view in that you're doing for being out there and it, it latches in pretty good to that little scene. Um, Those are helpful because it helps you not get distracted from what you're... Yes, very much so. And look, there's a little hole where you can put a lanyard through it so you don't lose it. That's smart. That's precious. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. And apparently there's, you know, if there's an eclipse, you've got the pinball. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, but that's nice and it's, it's super durable ABS plastic so it's going to be able to be dropped like Amy does and and look at the instruction book on this it's multiple pages what nothing That's, it was it used to be multiple pages. I can still read it it was just a testimonial <laughs> it's a testimonial oh circle opening will isolate colors or color values oh cool that was her don't use it for eclipses <laughs> and you can check edges and values so that's cool so that's a handy little thing very inexpensive but that can be travel for that now they can take that and go even further with traveling grids or even grids for your studio now the composite system has these are all acrylic they're very heavy duty nine different proportions for almost every canvas like standard canvas size and then some really strange sizes that aren't. Um, I got a three by four, which is this red one designed for working in the field. This one also has a thing where you can put it on a lanyard so that if you're holding it up, you're not getting blinded by the sun, but you can see the grids on it. It's hard to see for you. Put it there, here. yeah. Or here, put it on the paper. I'll put it Let's on. See how that, it, it makes everything more of a gray value, right? So you're just seeing the, the outer edges of things. It's not all the other stuff. Almost makes it in a way like a just a two-tone two dark and light, so it's easy to see. Um, those are made out of plastic. You can draw on them with a... <laughs> it looks like I feel like I should be seeing Roxanne now. She's got it over the... 
Roxanne. Yeah. Kind of little decoders. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can use it for, for landscape painting or to decode a secret message from your <laughs> landscape friend. What is this? I want to, I need sunblock? What? I can't tell. Um, then you've got ones like this. 4x5, 8x10, 12x15, 16x20. This will grid all of those and then go up to a 48x60. So all you have to do is take this. You can grid it on your canvas. You can see that. You take a dry erase marker. Oh, cool. Because you can do that. I was wondering this whole week. I've been wondering. And it's why like, why does Amy need? Why is that on the list? But I didn't say anything other about it so because old. I was excited about clicky dry erase yeah. pens. Yes, so, <laughs> so if if I've got Will, don't move Will. So if I've got Will here, I can just do a quick. Oh, that's What's his that? head, not his ear. That's your hat, not your ear. <laughs> what was the oh? I wasn't sure what was happening, and okay. then it was his hat. No, okay. I thought it was his ear. I was like, wow. No, Weird. no. So if I just if I wanted to start where I'm going to put him in this, okay, well, I want to move him. Yeah, he can move it over. That's awesome. But then I've got it gridded out, so even if he's still going to be standing here being a model, I've already got the grid on my canvas or paper. Very quick to just put that very rough outer image on. Then I can really start working on detail. Imagine how much time that would save. Yeah, rather really. than rather than oh the head doesn't look right to this my proportional thing now is lying to me, you know. <laughs> if you're not if you're if if that if that's every artist has some like thing that's their Achilles heel. Yeah. Okay. And Will well, and I were discussing this with a horse drawing that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. The head is just not long enough, and and it doesn't matter what I do. I I tend to draw short and wide, not. Tom Finn. Amy has a proportion thing, y'all. Turn it sideways. Will you hold it up against the back? Yes, they yeah. can see. So see, that was just quick sketching him standing there, just the quick outline. But then I can go back in and start putting details in. That would save probably 20 minutes. Well, and a lot of frustration too that yes. would make you not want to finish. That's what I do What? Or we can use a paper towel. <laughs> That's why I wore an old shirt, Amanda. Just for that moment. Just just to make Amanda be like, oh, why should you do this? There's paint on everything and it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Or food. So so these are really cool tools. I mean this will the dry erase will even work on that. So That's awesome. And literally they have something for every stinking even a square one. Where you can do squares of any size. So that it, to me is an awesome drawing tool that although you're still gonna have to draw it helps you more quickly take advantage of your time this is something maybe I should use some once yeah. in a while because well, that you would be imagine with like portrait commissions and yes. stuff like that like where it has to be exactly yes. perfectly right or if you're looking for something that's a really dramatic layout okay so if I you know do that what if I put him up here what if I put him down there I can look at some different things and say Wow, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's got some really nice uh, negative space as well as positive space. You can see it because it's clear and you've got the gridding and you know what it's going to look like on your canvas ahead of time rather than taking a sketchbook, doing multiple sketches and then finally picking one. That takes a lot of time. So, so these composite grids are pretty handy. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Amanda, what do we have for questions? Not a lot. Oh, and by the way, for all of you, anybody that's made comments today, you don't have to make more if you've already made them, but we are going to pull a name for, was it the... The, the thin one, the skinny one. The, the thin The black flared one, yeah. It's Ooh. been taken out of the box, so it can't go back into, uh, into uh, the, back to the warehouse, because we've taken it out and opened up the plastic bag that the cord comes in. We're going to pull a name, and this is a prize for today because it's the 50th anniversary. And so this is a prize for one of our awesome Jerry's Live viewers. So you will get your own I little... I see all you people who are watching and not commenting. Yeah. Now they're like, oh, let's get that comment in. Yeah. <laughs> and there will be a rush of last minute comments. But that's, so that's, that's fine. That's on there. So say where you're from. If you don't want to say anything else, just say where you're from. That'd be awesome. I'd or love to see. Or your favorite artist or your favorite tool. Your or... favorite artist. 
your 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 critique on Will's cowboy hat. And if you've <laughs> not seen Will before, you didn't watch our crazy episode on uh, what was the even the title of that that was so uh, most, crazy. Outrageous, most and outrageous and expensive, and expensive art supplies. Will wore a tuxedo for that. So and a top hat. And some gold leaf. And and eventually gold leaf. Yes, he did. So um, so that is well worth your while because it's got entertainment value. So. And for anybody watching this after the fact, I won't yeah. be picking a winner until tomorrow. So. Oh, awesome! So yeah, so if you watch it tonight. So what are we? Gonna, what time are we gonna pick it tomorrow? Um. What time? I'm probably. I usually pick them probably right before like five. Okay. Something like that. So five p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. Okay. So get it in by five p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Twenty-four hours. Yep. Well, it won't be twenty-four hours, but five thirty. Easter we, we can just pick Tuesday, Thursday morning. That would give them yeah, we do a that. more than 24 hours. So if they're just busy. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll pick Thursday morning. So it has to be in by what? Midnight? Tomorrow night? How about that? Yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, so now you see that you can do one of many things. Learn to draw. <laughs> Which, I mean, I encourage people to do. But you've seen that there's some things that can, A, really save you some time, like the composite grids the light tablets um i mean the projectors really really can be a very handy tool and the cool digital one that will showed us you could use that for all sorts of things um you know even if it's just your kid goes with you on site to work on something and you've got your mural done yeah put the movie on the wall for them set them down i wish i would have had that when i did a mural with a one-year-old yeah never again in an it's aviary expensive but it has me Lots yeah. and lots of uses. Yes. Oh, no. It's it's well worth... I mean, you figure what the uses are for that and what it would be to either rent that or go without it. Just the time that that alone would save. You know, um, the mural that I did because I had to draw it all on took like seven months once it was all said and done and I worked on it three full days a week yeah. for seven months. So that was just... And that totally didn't pay me back for the time. If I had had that on, could have gotten the images right on, that would have been like two days of drawing. So at most very detailed so it's a good tool so use tools wisely um, hopefully this has made you understand more how these work so it's less confusing baffling if you do invest in them um, and call us if you have issues before you send stuff like this back because we need to name them now maybe that's if they haven't don't know what to say in their post they could just give a name for our cobra with a k friend because he's gonna be around not here, but <laughs> somewhere. He will live here. He'll live over Amanda. He'll loom. He could actually. So, all right. Well, no, so no more questions? No. no. Okay. Lots of comments. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching us. Next week, somehow we never covered it. Oil paints. Just oil paints. Not the water mixable ones. If you guys missed that, that was a couple episodes mm -hmm. back. Um, look for that. That was this spring, one of the first what, couple episodes mm -hmm. of, of the year. So we have done a water mixable oil episode. We won't be discussing that next week. But we will talk about all the brands from student to artist to professional grade oil paints and hopefully have a little image done with each of them so you can really see what they look like in comparison to each other for quality. So, uh, so until next week then, thank you, Will. Thank you very much for helping us out. As always, it was a delight. And we appreciate it. Help keep Katie from tripping all over everything in the dark, trying to turn lights on and off. That's the main thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I would have not, I would have just been like, look, it does things. Move on. So, all right. Well, thanks guys for, for watching and we will see you next week. Have a good evening. <laughs>